good news mr gautam no oh, good news but i just call uh, hr and she said that we have already released the offer i said i have mm-hmm. received it she said you going to receive it <laughs> sometime <laughs> huh you going to receive it sometime you know it has been okay. processed okay okay congratulations dhanyawad thank you dhanyawad yes dhanyawad mm. okay i'm back you are back welcome back mm so we'll just fast track this az104 because we have to focus on az500 that's yeah. our security baby right that will be open i'm sorry mm so do we really need the knowledge of a is a 104 for the is doing is a 500 yes if you don't know the cloud how will secure it sir but you know uh, if you go to the certification page it says that after doing uh, is a 900 you can directly do the is a 500 but that is not going to help it's microsoft word right but that's the real time challenges okay okay microsoft is telling you know you do nothing and you start the job getting a fine the problem is real time problems actually because you have to work with ct team what is ct team ct team cyber cloud engineering team okay yes got it kapil yeah you have to do meeting with the cloud engineering team okay If you don't know cloud, <laughs> that's right. That's right. Uh, 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 I would say uh, yesterday I was able to uh, deploy uh, a virtual machine using mm-hmm. an ARM template. Mm-hmm. Um, it's a very simple process. Uh, yeah, nice. So, answer to your question, uh, uh, Gautam. Yeah. So, you know, engineering team. Yes, I know. they are developing the product you know yeah. yeah so they are like you know godfather kind of people yeah and if you don't have knowledge on cloud engineering means cloud products you can't talk only you can not play around security you should know mm-hmm. the underline you know how what are the services in the cloud then you, you will start your security posturing because everything is not written everywhere you have to use some logics you know how to apply the security because uh, uh so i i will say not only is it 104 you should also know is it 303 304 but we don't have time we are going making shortcuts actually that's why jumping to is it 500 directly okay okay hope you understood yes sir yeah yeah things are very complicated because then yeah. you will be in meeting with ciso right so ciso and cloud, this uh, cloud engineering team they are very you know experienced people actually okay. you will be in trouble if you don't have the, background if you talk about the cyber security team or the info security team mm-hmm. they are the guys who don't know about anything about the in, uh, information technology mm-hmm. they, they don't know about, about information technology means it thing it stuff like ad ssc what uh, these technologies doing in the back end Mm-hmm. Are you sure so, they don't know AD? AD is a part of security, sir. I am talking about the cyber security team which we are having the SCL. When they are okay. coming no. to audit, they don't know anything. No, no, Gautam. I believe uh, it matters in in the last project to project. In our in our maybe, project, maybe, maybe. people from mm. security have the knowledge of AD because from there only all the policies that they have to apply. So I will take example of SCL only, Gautam. Mm-hmm. somewhere you are right also because uh, scl is not a good security company actually to be very frank mm-hmm. their security is not very strong sir nobody is taking security services from scl getting my point yeah correct sir there are companies big four companies there you know kpmg yeah. deloitte pwc e- eye pwc deloitte So if SCL, Vipro, Accenture are doing everything, why do we need big four IP companies? That's why people are taking security services from the from these four big four companies. 
getting my point money. yeah big money there yes so the, the services companies are not good into security even scl and uh, bipro is better than scl actually i will say yeah they have a strong team but scl is you know just doing time pass time pass actually and that's why they are 90% sock people resigned from the scl yeah, correct sir correct sock yeah. security operation center people they are resigning because there, there is no money there is no respect you know so people are resigning and jumping here and there and they are getting double salary outside of the world hmm let's focus on networking today azure networking anyone any idea about azure virtual networking so sorry logical representation of network within the cloud mhm mm what else uh like we net virtual networking that don't mm -hmm. have the physical uh, uh, hardware so there you know everything mm -hmm. is there in the uh, cloud uh, data center and mm -hmm. we are only utilizing those services and creating the logical network and putting our resources within the vnet or the uh, uh, mm -hmm. nsg group so we are creating the nsg group and vnet and subnets and so mm -hmm. right so overlay networking yeah micro segmentation yes. ipv6 by default right and we need not to worry about underlay networkings right yeah so all those things are place so let's take example what is happening here so this is your on premise right side right this is on premise and it is your azure cloud you have one vnet within the vnet you have two virtual machines which has nic1 and nic2 both are part of subnet one subnet okay so you have vnet within the vnet you have subnet one subnet and within the one subnet you can see you can create multiple subnet not a problem this just i'm explaining this uh, picture here so you have one vm and vm number 2 they have their own nic and how they are communicating you can connect through vpn connectivity or you can connect through express route okay with the on premise to your uh, azure cloud so the beauty of the azure cloud networking is you need not to become ccie or ccnp you have simple ccna knowledge you can be successful in azure networking not a problem okay so vnet will come into the tab within the vnet there is a cidr range okay and uh, you are going to create subnets into the your vnets multiple subnets you can create and uh, on top of it you are going to create nsg network security group which will be associated with your subnets you can also associate with your vms also okay that's a extra feature okay do we want to do any lab i don't think don't waste time because we have limited time okay what is sqe sku keeping stock units uh, just google it keeping stock units or something is there google it hmm stock keeping unit stock keeping units right so keeping stock units okay it's stock keeping units okay so actually we have azure marketplace okay where do we where do we where we do generally shopping generally speaking we buy you know the products from azure marketplace so just to differentiate the products okay yeah. just for differentiation we use sku you know sq so sq number will be there which will be differentiating your different products with different uh, sq numbers at simple as Bar barcode details basically or kind of kind of yeah barcode you can say so 
it will be differentiator kind of okay so you have public address ip address private ip address need not to tell read by by your own okay what is nsg nsg is kind of your traffic firewall. manager firewall actually traffic manager and firewall both where you are going to create your ingress and egress rules rules, rules. firewall rules firewall. ingress in traffic and regress traffic yeah. inbound, inbound traffic outbound traffic incoming traffic outgoing traffic different all names same. you know all, all the same, same. Yeah. okay so why i'm telling all the names because you never know the what panel is you know asking or telling or then what is their favorite words actually okay so this kind of fi firewall which is going to control your incoming traffic and outgoing traffic you are going to create rules inbound outbound you know and it is going to provide you extra security and that's why we call micro segmentation micro segmentation means security at each layer security at each workload okay that's the beauty of nsg and on top on top of nsg you have azure firewall as well okay yeah. what is azure firewall uh, it, it decides which traffic to go inside and which traffic should not be it's basically uh, it's basically uh... I would say if you're coming from the outside world, traffic uh, filtration it, thing you do. Yeah, right? it it lands to the firewall and then firewall decides to where it goes into the internet. Okay, guys, I have one interview questions which was asked study to one of my student. Okay, what is difference between on-premise firewall and Azure firewall? Mm hmm. On device firewall uh, and Azure firewall, right? Azure firewall is stateful uh, firewall. On premise firewall on and firewall. Azure firewall. Okay, That's try it. to listen carefully. I think uh, what 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 comes in my mind is in an Azure firewall, you can define the policies uh, according because you have all the all the control to uh, to segregate the policies. However, okay. in an on 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 device premises firewall uh, you you do not have much privileges you have to i think you have to pay for that service right? mm -hmm. that is that is my that is what what my thought is okay let's see what is the google thought okay This is an interview question. The problem is Pandi, that you're not Pandi, yeah. just one second. I'm just changing my uh, workstation, okay? So I'll just be mm -hmm. back in a couple of minutes. Yeah, so you can also go okay. later on right. because not right picture here. So okay, so, here. okay, so it's interview question. On the nice firewall, you will not get lot of data in the Google actually. Okay, so try to understand. The first is stateful, okay, and second is high availability. So the high availability, what you are going to get from the Azure firewall, that is really not possible in on-premise. Okay. Yes, Second thing. Scalability yeah. also there, sir. High availability, it will become only HA only, right? Scalability also, HA, high availability only. Okay. 
H A scalability is also part of H A only, right? Mm -hmm. So and also the log monitoring, you know, the policy enforcing, like you have Azure monitor, Azure policy, which is really not possible, right? And also your on-premise firewall doesn't support hybrid connectivity. Getting my point? No. It doesn't support hybrid connectivity. So your Azure firewall can, you know, integrate with your on-premise firewall and it, it can, you know, it can manage different environment, different fire, different uh, uh, multi uh, multi cloud environment or on premise network, private cloud. So that beauty is not there. And on top of it, have an Spock concept. You can cannot implement into on premise firewall. Getting my point? Have an Spock. Did we discuss this? Have an Spock concept? No, no, I don't think. No, no. 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 Okay, let's discuss this. This is very important. So you Google it, you will not find more different, you know, uh, uh, I, material for the question, actually. Yeah, there is not much. Yeah. So that's a problem. How a student will, you know, where from, from the panel is asking, that's also first time I've heard about this question. Have an Spock. One central component and connect to the multiple networks. So you have a hub and you have a Spock. So in Citrix, guys, why do we need DDC? Mm -hmm. Traffic authentication data. Why do we need why do we need DDC in Citrix? Kapil. Well, uh, it is it is used it is used for the I think calculation complex calculation. Uh, it's DDC is uh, yeah. yeah it was like it, access control basically they are doing. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so it takes uh, it takes the input and it gives the output in data. Mm -hmm. Okay. Did you understand my question or not? You you asked what is the functionality of DDCs in Citrix? Yeah. Okay. Leave it. Uh, so. Try to understand how oh, this box. Sorry, sorry. DDC is a delivery controller. Sorry. Yeah. A delivery yeah. controller in Citrix. Uh, it's, yeah. it, 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 it's, a, it's a console which manages all your access. Uh, Mogam, your Mogambo, uh, wait, wait, hold on. Mogambo Khushwa. Now you uh, people are forgetting the Citrix, bloody Citrix thing, actually. That's making me happy. So, now you're so thinking it, like cloud. similar to the NSG? that uh, traffic controller no sort of no thing. bro come on yeah what we are you doing in citrix i don't know we are talking about bullshit okay <laughs> i have okay. not done citrix <laughs> okay no problem you are a scientist okay how and spock so how things work actually so in azure cloud in azure cloud okay mm -hmm. Yeah. So we have, um, there will be few common services, right? Like Azure Firewall, Azure VPN, right? Azure Gateway, Azure Monitoring. So these are actually common services for your Azure cloud for your subscription. You're going to use not different firewall for different subscription. Getting my point. You're going to use common firewall, common monitoring thing, you know, common give uh, VPN solution or gateways kind of, you know, make sense and load balancers. Okay. Yep. So the concept is create one VNet separate VNet for hub. Okay. And 
put your services or application in different subnets and different vnets vnet 1 vnet 2 and vnet 3 user is sitting here kapil try to see the uh, this whiteboard else you will not understand okay okay so users are here users will be hitting to hub vnet okay because all those common services are lying on hub now yeah. hub will route that request to respective vnet okay VNet. i'm talking yeah. about networking here because yeah. we have to like traffic manager uh, um, like gautam uh, you know use the word traffic manager so hub is yeah. also doing diverting the traffic you know uh, forwarding the traffic kind of thing actually so this is the hub and spock concept in azure cloud for azure firewall what is the benefit of these things uh, guys any idea uh see basically uh, it's it's kind of doing load balancing uh, mm -hmm. whenever the traffic comes in it it because i, I think uh, on the hub there is a routing table as well it just check through the routing table and and it redirects okay. the traffic to the specific vnet and uh, mm -hmm. th that kind of thing please uh, uh, i need remote... i need answer in respect to security no nonsense talk it is Please. authenticating the users which is uh, which user has got the access to uh, use the particular services the vnet or you know the services lying in the vnet so focus your uh, focus all discussion related to security only getting my point yeah. that's yeah, a, that's the outcome security. that's outcome actually okay gautam you yes, are some sir. somewhere you are right but kapil was talking little, little bit different actually not on the you know uh, what is expected here we, we are talking about in the context context of azure firewall means security right yeah. nothing right. else is required here so guys the the beauty of the hub is you don't want to expose your these vnets networks yeah yes yeah. you don't want to expose these things actually that's why you have hub so all the request will be hitting to hub hub will decide where your request is going you know provided and every vnet into isolation provided if any vnet pairing will be there from one vnet to another vnet things will work fine getting my point so suppose i enabled vn uh, pairing vnet 1 to vnet 2 and vnet 2 vnet 3 can vnet 1 vnet 3 communicate gautam no kapil no, no. No, big no, actually. That is that is expected from you guys. Think like Mogambo. So focus on security posturing. Focus on security terminology, right? Nothing else. Because you are security, cl cloud security, barriers of the future, right? Yep. Think like security. Try to, st try to start thinking security in a different way, not SCL way start respecting grc team they are they were good team actually but they are not used as they are they are formed as a grc they should use their capabilities and everything to make security successful for the project for the clients make sense remember hub and spock concept right you met might get question into the interviews okay guys okay so i think lot of differences we discuss right yes cloud firewall and the on-prem firewall hub and spoke. yeah a lot of differences and even have any spock concept is not into or your on-premise azure firewall that's another difference right and what else what else what Center else monitoring system or security yeah we, we already see same thing can anybody explain to me gautam i already explain you guys what sir what sir have any spock here Achha. kapil okay. anyone uh, so uh, basically gautam uh, mm -hmm. nahi nahi aap batao you, 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 okay. See, basically <coughs> sorry uh, it's an environment which which, which is talks about uh, and uh, incoming traffic uh, it's an on premises network uh, 
so basically the uh, network is coming from on premise network to the hub and uh, the hub is is deciding on which resource subnet the traffic should go <clears throat> so can you see hub and spock thing here yeah yes sir. all the common services right are in the hub vnet make sense yeah. means your azure bastion what is azure bastion guys jump server jump mm, server right answer and that is expected from you that's the security and which layer which layer is going to secure by azure bastion gautam uh, counter question the network layer it's layer Kapil. four Layer Layer four. Four. Layer three. No, yes. no, no, don't think like scientist. It's simple <laughs> management layer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, management control plane, actually management layer. Actually, I ask you DDC. Why I ask because that is kind of control plane, actually. So my logic was something different, but you people started talking bullshit. Then I start the stop this discussion, actually. It's okay. You are forgetting all those things. It's good because you have to focus on security posturing, right? And Gautam, Sec DevOps. What is Sec DevOps? Sec DevOps, security DevOps. Security of DevOps. Kapil. <laughs> yeah. Application security, container okay. security, cloud yeah. security, cloud cyber security. security, information security, cyber arc, PAM. Sale point, Azure Sentinel, Azure Security Center. Those are our future tools, services, what we are going to use. Right? So, guys, if you are into application development or into infrastructure site, don't worry. Security is everywhere. Okay? Am Amrish Puri is everywhere. Okay? So, you have to... You have to secure yourself, else Amrish Puri a jayega. Okay? So, things are clear or not, guys? Many of the things are clear, sir. Yeah, in fact. Okay, um, let's move forward. What is natting? Why do we, why we use natting? It's a network address translation, so I believe. Is so, it related? Uh, is, is it related with the uh, money east season five? <laughs> the gold and, uh -huh. You know, deciding where to where uh, to take the gold, those gold. Mm. So, guys, don't waste your time. You know, start watching money east season five because we already are done. now security already completed. Yes, sir. You are so, fast, yeah. so you are best cloud security architect waiting for the second version third yes version. think like that like think like professor you know <laughs> Pro every time professor is fucking everyone he's yes. fucking full is you know he's fucking everyone actually uh, Alice, yes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so think like professor every time you know people their uh, story will come into the point like you know now the end of the story again they you know do some Blah blah thing, you know. Remember the helicopter thing? Helicopter yes. came down, you know. The, they the police the trace. Yeah. <laughs> they they uh, they trace the uh, helicopter. They bend there, and the, the, people the, the were there. Are, they guided yeah. go there. The car is going there, right? And they followed someone who was already, you know. Uh, they uh, there was some um, you know kidnapping of the family, yeah, <laughs> yeah. and people went to that place. See how they are thinking that the same same th thought process we have to apply not mirzapur one, one one or two or three okay mirzapur is not going to uh, help you into security mirzapur is going to help you only badmashi gundagardi but money is is going to help you think like security okay. architects and again in next week i will ask you to watch shooter okay I heard so, about it. I think yes. Be. So, guys, uh, we'll be watching movies together. Okay. Sure. And we'll be thinking like security architects. So, actually, my client counterpart, secure cloud security architect, lead actually, he's the lead. 
he is from us navy sorry us navy the seal navy seal navy seal yes sir you are right you are watching lot of series actually that's why you are got, got the correct name thank you and another my ciso is also from us navy seal getting my point so actually if you want to be successful in security i'm not asking you to join indian navy but try to watch movies how you know suppose you have to like we play video games right we uh, set the target now we have to hit that uh, uh, from the you know from a different place someone will you know uh, back, uh, what we call it backup or you know uh, just give me give me what we say like the word i'm missing actually uh give me shadow or what we call in mm, not shadow uh, okay i'm just forgetting the word actually cover cover uh, again give, give cover. me cover yes yes that's the right word yeah give me cover guys okay i'm i'm moving ahead you have to cover from the back end if anyone is coming in between you have to shoot right yeah or getting my point it. yeah yes so that kind of security you have to think like you have to do threat modeling we are future cyber you know cyber attackers but we are ceh what is ceh guys certified ethical hacker what is difference between ethical hacker and non ethical hackers mr kapil pandit the ethical hackers have some ethics means they have their specific boundaries they don't go out of out of out of that mm -hmm. boundary but mm -hmm. unethical yeah, hackers purpose, yeah, one by one yeah. one by one mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. unethical hackers uh, they, they 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 don't have any ethics they do a lot of uh, uh, fraud bullshit right? so yeah, they, they yeah. are doing it for the loop, find the loopholes in the security mechanism the ethical hackers mm -hmm. yeah yeah true true Got they that. are uh, so another question for you what is good corp and what is bad corp good corp and bad corp cop, good corp or bad corp ha okay right right corp yeah correct mm -hmm. jo ghus leta jo ghus nahi leta no hindi please oh sorry so the the one who is doing the uh, no uh, hindi please <laughs> i'm speaking in english yeah yes i'm loving english okay yeah the one who is doing uh, uh, good work you know uh, good deeds uh, is the good mm -hmm. uh, cop and the one who is you know uh, corrupt or taking money or taking bribe is the corrupt mm -hmm. one in the similar way uh, mm -hmm. the ethical hackers are doing to find out the loopholes or the you know the security uh, uh, glitch in the network and the one who is unethical is doing for the benefit or uh, getting that one so guys i got the voucher for cs certification by end of october i am going to certified ceh certified ethical hacker okay whenever anybody attack uh, do the um, hacking what kind of ransomware they are ask any idea i think in terms of uh... some currency or some bitcoins my god you all are all already hackers bloody hackers <laughs> <laughs> are we am am i training to hackers yes bitcoin right so why they uh, a counter question uh, don't mind uh, kapil okay take it easy yeah so, yeah. yeah so uh, because we are from navy seal right so we can use bold words in between okay so gautam ji sir ji why bitcoin <clears throat> it cannot be traced now from where the money is coming okay yeah it can be so now suppose your company your client is asking to secure bitcoin how you are going to secure it bitcoin blockchain yeah what is blockchain Go, uh, kapil <laughs> oh. <clears throat> oh. <clears throat> uh, no idea sorry even same here sir so guys there is a paradigm shift 
from us to india or across the world to india or india to vice versa earlier down the line five years back or 10 years back angrez people were not thinking indians are good security engineers okay they were not taking seriously to us you must have feel that you have must heard about those things the security teams very less security resources in india were working in offshore okay but now things are changing okay so the paradigm shift is there now 60% resources in the security in it security ethical security indians okay 20% from china and rest 20% from us and europe so things are changing and we are into you know in um, in good shape in good in, at a good edge so we have really good opportunity to grab all those remaining opportunities in our hand okay so let's try get hard and uh, improve ourselves and get grab your cup of cloud security okay make sense yeah yeah so not only you know going by ppt discussion we have to you know discuss out of the box things so what is blockchain then sir yes I, I, i'm loving it why you asked because kapil is not asking because he's a like you know he's like already you know hacker as a bitcoin and no. all those things no, he's no, going no. to ask Pand ransom money pandey ji i i was reading about blockchain in, in the in the background so mm. i was just about to come but gautam ji asked that question first yeah so super zero is a superhero gautam ji 30 days blockchain in 30 days <laughs> blockchain uh think like professor okay so blockchain is kind of you know not only securing bitcoin but also your critical data like your medical dna data your you know blood samples your uh, dna blood sample your genes your enzymes all those sort of things you can secure by using blockchain so what blockchain will do it will use different you know it's altogether different technology right and it uh, so i'm i'm not uh, i will not say like uh, let's start blockchain session because that is not required we have very less job in india on blockchain or bitcoin okay because our government of india is not approving bitcoin in india yeah 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 the challenge is are early already we have you know a lot of corruption in the market okay <laughs> if bitcoin will come into the picture so kapil pandit will not pick the phone of gautam gautam will not pick my phone and i will not pick kapil uh, kapil's phone actually why will because i have already bitcoin uh, one bitcoin is equal to just google it what is value of one bitcoin 40 lakhs 40 lakhs yes so if yeah. i have one bitcoin or two bitcoin i will go to um, uh, bangkok pattaya yeah why will be i be living here man come on see so blockchain is uh, really uh, a different technology i'm all, i'm also not expert is it different okay. from the uh, the key vault thing sir yeah it's different also... it's it's totally different yeah it is not ssl tls okay it's totally different and uh, so it's also new so i'm not expert of that i have okay. to also study about right. blockchain o online yeah. it says a blockchain is a public digital ledger of transaction that because information in a way that mm -hmm. it's difficult to hack or alter yeah so one thing i will add here what i have underst uh, understand you know during our my study so in blockchain like you transfer money right you transfer money by upi so you need not to pay any charges right but suppose you transfer money from nt uh, what we call nf uh, uh, what NFT. we call uh, nft nft yeah rtgs nft and mmis something is there right mobile uh, kind of thing so i think there is some charges also associated right when you transfer money from you know card transaction charges credit card charges atm card charges in bitcoin if you are transferring 1 rupee 
the send receiver is going to get one coin, one rupee, one rupee means just example. There is no deductions. Okay. So it's kind of different, you know, uh, different technology. Uh, it, it's it, it's in my list, the blockchain, but I haven't I haven't started in doing the deep dive because a lot of things already there, you know, uh, out of uh, blockchain also. So I have to focus on all those things, guys. Okay. Sure, sir. But blockchain only not for uh, Bitcoin. It can also support your uh, healthcare industries because I was working with the GSK. So they were talking about the uh, this uh, blockchain. They enrolled blockchain uh, training for me also, but I didn't. I quit. I quit. You uh, know uh, this big pro. Okay, guys, come to the Azure DNS. What is DNS? Domain naming service. Hmm. What else? It's a it's a place which which stores mm -hmm. the <clears throat> sorry it's a place which stores the okay basically DNS is uh, from changing the <clears throat> FQDN to an IP and vice versa mm -hmm. so it, it it keeps that information for example if I am if I am uh, trying to find a website so the it it would first query my local DNS if it does mm -hmm. if it does not resolve it. Then it goes mm -hmm. to my the the central DNS server to resolve it. So then all, all the concept of uh, right. A A right. A right. So A guys, A remember when we were doing our ADDS lab, Azure Active Directory Domain Services, right? So I added those TXT record. Those are DNS record only, right? Azure DNS record. I added into my domain GoDaddy and Google Daddy, not Google Daddy, Google.com, right? Remember, GoDaddy and uh, Google, if you remember the screen, right? Yes. So those kind of, we were registering your TXT, Azure Cloud uh, DNS records, TXT records to GoDaddy DNS record, to Google, uh, uh, Google record actually, DNS record, right? So how things, if you will not add those records into different DNS services, communication will not happen. That's important. And DNS is play very important role in all the respect for any communication of URL, host name, IP address. And it's a big database kind of which provide you all the, you know, connectivity, forwarding, traffic management, and proximity and everything actually. A lot of things are there, but we are not going to do the deep dive of DNS, but try to understand this. What is the role of DNS? That's it. So it is similar as of the on-prem DNS. So, or it is kind of, but Azure DNS, Cloud DNS are more flexible. They have different, more records. They are more, you know, uh, user-friendly and you need not to worry about many things. It will be taken care of with backend. In on-premise DNS, a lot of things you do. You manage everything, right? Your forwarder, your lookup zone, reverse zone, all those nonsense. But in Azure DNS, it's a kind of SaaS solution as a pass solution, right? Everything you're getting, it will be taken care of by the Microsoft Azure in the back end. Make sense? Yep. Okay, guys. Now, five minutes for you both. Any question, any opinion, any out of the box discussion you want? Because I know I'm, I don't want to proceed further today. Uh, Pandey, I would like you to repeat me that spot concept. Okay. Means hub and spoke. Hub and spoke. Mm -hmm.